there's one in particular that i wanted to show y'all this is why i love black ops like the black ops games so this little side mission here is so dope i'm not too sure if like modern warfare i i stopped playing modern warfare after modern warfare 1 and warzone got all crazy so i'm not too sure how the campaign works out in that i heard the uh, mw3 was just dlc for mw2 this little side mission you don't even have to do this this is just if you want to like fall into the immerse yourself in the treyarchness the black ops keys this mission is here and i just wanted to show you guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe if you haven't we're back at the uh at the safe house we, we don't got briefed everybody's waiting look we got woods and mason here What's the Mason here? You can chit chat, talk, talk to them. I, I'm, I'm not gonna waste y'all's time with that. I know y'all don't care about the Call of Duty. Who feed it? I love Black Ops. Anyways, anyways, the numbers, Mason. Where are the numbers? Fucking numbers! It's a broadcast, Mason. The broadcast. Anyways, he's out of his mind. Don't worry about him. Uh, what else? I already unlocked the door. I'm fiended out. Unlock the secret door. You can play the arcade games. You can play everything here. Chopper gunner, pitfall two, brainstorm, and all the good Yeah. All the good shit. You know what I'm saying? We got it all. But alright. There's Hudson right there. Goddamn Hudson guy. Oh, rest of peace. I mean me! Do it! Do it! And I miss him. All right, evidence board. I don't know. We're not ready to take him out yet. This one down here, Operation Red Circus. So, so let's listen to the let's 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 play the brief. MI6 has spent the last year tracking a group of embedded Soviet agents within multiple European governments. These agents could be strategically positioned to set up a larger Soviet plan for Europe. During a recent operation, we acquired information about this group's structure. There are three unidentified key agents leading it, and their handler is the Soviet Major Vadim Rudnik, a name previously connected to Perseus. We have Rudnik's position and can move on him, but if we don't first identify his three lead agents, we risk losing our chance to take all of the embedded agents down. Check out our list of suspects here. Special evidence you find on missions will help identify the three lead agents. All right, yeah. I'd advise so figuring out who they are before going after Rudnik. So we already did that. We already, so pretty much we got to get this guy, this guy in the back. But before we get this guy, there's some suspects down here that we got to identify that would help us finish the mission more successfully. I'm stupid. I don't know. Don't listen to me. But in order to do that, we have to have had grabbed all of the, all of the uh, evidence pieces here because you have to study them. You have to study the evidence pieces match them together review the suspects if you go to the suspects here they each got dates travel a whole travel list you know if the what they've been doing what they've been up to and we got to match their dates with some of this evidence here i love black ops oh my god make sure you like make sure you subscribe we're gonna be doing it we're gonna be solving the scooby clues dudes so let's get into it <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this video. I was playing and I was like, yo, let me stop and let me record this because this is why I like Black Ops. And this is what I hope they've already kind of said this is going to be in um, Black Ops 6 and also like the multiple choice missions, the dialogue. I have a video up on my channel as well about like the intro and the dialogue choices you can do in the beginning and stuff like that. And Call of Duty campaigns have become more of one day we're gonna get a Call of Duty campaign that's just a full on RPG. Like this one already has a safe house where you can go and talk to people and build relationships if you want and go deeper into the story. It's it's crazy, it's dope. It's Call of Duty is and I think only Black Ops is doing it. Like, I don't know if MW had this. I don't think MW had this, but two and three, I don't I don't play that shit. But anyways, let's get to it. So this this wristwatch. The lead agents have been exchanging information with the KGB through a series of dead drops. MI6 believes the watch we recovered in the KGB contains an encoded list of recent drops. Let's see what you can decipher. So I'm gonna attempt, I'm stupid as hell, but I'm gonna attempt to decipher this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is gonna be dope. <laughs> so pretty much the, what we got here, don't worry about none of this shit here. About none of that. 
The numbers. I mean, huh? There's no numbers. I don't see numbers. Y'all don't see that. Broadcast basic. All right, so the bearded lady, and then we got the strong man. Strong boy. And then we got juggler. We got these three suspects. So the bearded lady would deliver three files, possible mole suspects, and from Lobonyanka. Lobonyanka rerouting to Jakiv, Rome, Italy on 1 9. All right, so 1 9, the bearded lady was in Rome. You know what I'm saying? We solving clues. We discovering sh i figured out i bust out the you know what i'm saying the clipboard on you know what i'm talking about and the strong man was given lists for new recruits in the parliament proko poland on 10 480 okay all right he was in poland um i took the walk to poland sorry i had to and then the juggler included blackmail on primary targets in vienna austria one eight 81 numbers mason the numbers i can't spell for shit that's not what we're here for we're here to solve the damn clues not to fucking solve the clues on how to spell austria even though it's in my face don't worry about that all right so let's move on to the next piece of evidence that we have here cassette tape with activity huh activities i don't know how to say it i'm not stupid i was got something in my eyes i can't I can't read when I can't see. I can't when I got a cough. Huh? Sounds like a partial report to Moscow on lead agent activities. Oh, I just said that. This should help us narrow down the list of suspects. Last report. The last from report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. She believes she has enough influence to convince others to side with her. Strongman is concerned he's been monitored. Suggest KGB run interference for him. Juggler is worried he may lose his next election recommends active measures against his opponents all right so i don't think we need this piece of evidence right here i don't think we need this at all i wasn't recording the video for the clipboard so now i'm recording the video for the clipboard uh -huh. Uh -huh. i'm stupid i'm new to this makes you like to subscribe that way i can spend more time doing this that way it's not so shitty thank y'all appreciate y'all the ones who's here and who's be watching anyways now that I am recording the clipboard, the bearded lady, one nine was in Rome. Strong, big old strong wolf was in 10, 480. He was in Poland. And the juggler on one eight in 1981 was in Austria. This cassette doesn't mean that a single thing we don't need this piece of evidence it's good to know if we care about the little bitty details of these people but we don't really so on to the next piece of evidence that ledger from Krauss's apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities seems Krauss was a middleman to funnel money for them Krauss was a middleman to funnel money the beard the bearded lady paid 15k to Cambridge England on 10 23 80 Bitch. I knew she did. I knew she did. Okay, so on 10, 23, 80. Now I know y'all really can't see that. Why did I make it so small? Cambridge. Can't remember that at all. I can't read that. Not even a little bit. It's the numbers. Mason. What numbers? Don't worry about the numbers. Uh, The strong man paid 7k to east berlin germany on 916 so on nine they spell 16. <laughs> so 916 in the 80s this motherfucker did 7k east berlin germany east germany I don't know why I'm recording because y'all cannot read that. I know that scribble scrabble to y'all. Okay, so the juggler loan 12K to Copenhagen, Denmark on 12-4. Juggler. 12. I'm about 4. 80. How do you spell 80? Denmark. Scribble scrabble. I think we got every all the piece of evidence we need here. 
What's the next? Okay, that's just the suspect himself. All right, so on to the... Sh we got... Let's review the suspects. Let's review the suspects. We've got all the evidence we need. Let's take a deeper dive into the resolving and shit. All right, so this is look at those suspects here. Adolf Hitler Rud ripoff, Alex Superdy, Leslie Sinclair. Look at my goddamn Rosie O goddamn Donald. Who do we got here? <laughs> Harvey Spray, Aaron Lee, Calvin Dunn, Elenia Miller, Claire Carberstein, and Jim Craiga. Loving the sidebars, loving the mustache, my good friend. Let's take a look at uh, Alex Aperti. So we know the bearded lady the on one nine was in Rome. So let's see this motherfucker was in Rome. Let's just, that's what we're gonna do first. One nine, Rome, one nine. Rome, nobody. Jinkies. Jinkies. Rome, Italy. Boom. Bingo. I knew it was her. Rome, Italy. 1981. Gotcha. Bitch. Bearded lady. She's a lady. Also, kind of looks like a man. I don't judge. Be yourself. Treat yourself. Cheat your own. <laughs> Anyways, 1981. The bearded lady was in Rome. Gotcha. I knew it was you. Okay, on 102380 was also in Cambridge. And what do you know? Bingo. Got your ass. Rome, Italy. Look there at the bottom. Rome, Italy. 1981. Got your ass. Look at the top. Cambridge. England. 102380. Bingo. We got action. Bearded lady, I think we solved the case. I'm gonna go ahead and mark her as a suspect or him. I don't judge. Anyways, on to the next. The strong man, 10480, was in Poland. Getting out of hand with this shit. Let's solve this. This could have been solved a long time ago. <laughs> this motherfucker here? Nope. You hear? Y'all clear? You hear? Clear? There? Nothing there? Wait. There? 10 4 80. Gotcha, motherfucker. Jim Krieger. Strong man. Yeah, not looking too strong anymore. 9 6 80. You was in Germany. Let's check you out. 9, 16, 80. Everything fucking checks out. I'm gonna go ahead and mark him for no suspect. There he is on 9, 16, 80. That's East Berlin, Germany. Book him and tag him. That's our second suspect. We're on the case. Who's next? The juggler. What does he got on him? 1, 8, 81. The motherfucker was in Austria. Let's see. 1, 8, 81. Where's he at? Oh, get you. Bingo. Gotcha. Vienna, Austria. 1881. Aaron Lee. Oh, I didn't know you could zoom in like that. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Anyways, I'm on a case. Austria. What am I doing? Am I drunk? 12480. Denmark. Pull it up. Let me see a D over there and I'm gonna get you. Go 480. He, everything checks out. Sorry about that, sir. I'm not seeing you in Denmark at that time. You're still prime suspect. I'll see you later. 1881. Boom. Gotcha. Vienna, Austria. Gotcha. Vienna, Austria, 1881. It's actually Calvin Dunn out here looking like Mel Gibson ripoff. Bruce Gibson, a mix between Mel Gibson and Bruce. <laughs> Got your ass. He was in Copenhagen on 12 4 and also 18881. Let's check. Let's do this. 1881. Bingo. Austria. Got your ass. 12 4 80. Denmark. Gotcha. Suspect number three. Let's get the team together. See what we can see if we can go ahead and brown this suspect in. 
let's see if we can go ahead and pull them in um yeah let's go ahead and launch this mission let's go ahead and see operation red circus let's see if we can go ahead and get this clown out of here bag him and tag him warning see that's what i'm seeing see this is another thing too this is why i like this if you didn't do that the long whole thing that i made y'all sit and watch me do <laughs> if you don't do that if you get it wrong you're fucked operation red circus was a fucking bus it was pointless let's launch it hopefully we got the right suspects okay woods and mason are gonna take point on this apparently rudnik is lying low in a remote soviet base in the mountains of uzbekistan not remote enough we're gonna land our boys nearby and pay him a little visit let's cut this perseus sucker down to size Wait, now I'm thinking I was playing so much. I'm like, did I mark the right suspects? Did I? I'm like, did I pay attention? Was I doing what? I played too much. Damn it. Rudnik better be in that base if we came all this fucking way. Command sounded confident. Once we blow the shit out of their radio tower and create a distraction, we'll find out. Time for a little hide and seek. Nice. 1981, we're playing as Alex Mason with Frank Woods, Operation right. Red Circus. We're in position. Roger that. There's an airmail package ready for delivery. Just need an address. Go ahead and mark the radio tower for us. Mason, the tower's up above on that far ridge. Above that far ridge, yeah. Those binoculars, Mason. I'm using them, Woods. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail. Check is in the mail. Bingo bongo. Let them rip. Beyblades. Wait. Did she launch the strike? I, I pressed it. Oh. Bongo got him. Now get down there and eliminate minutes. Rudnick before he escapes. Let's do it. We don't have a lot of time. This shit's intense. This fucking damn thing is crazy. Excuse me. I don't know why the old dude gets so much hate. I know the MW thing they were doing for a little bit is kind of a cash grab, but these fuck ups are great. Great arc is great. Here we go. There's building number one. Going in. down Oh nice Don't do it, bro. Get out here for me YouTube? No way I can put that on YouTube. No way that's allowed. He's so that building. He's not in there. To the next. I love the focus in this game. It just turns into a slow mo on the campaign. Save a shot. Booty. Right now, it's actually it all it all makes sense. Pulling up to the second search. Uh Bravo Bingo Bango. Building clear. Oh shit. Oh shit, they got 
RPGs. Rifles on my six. Headshots. Uh, headshots. <laughs> <laughs> so dope. But yeah, the focus is amazing. Kill the guy. No piece. Oh, I'm reloading. No. Okay. That is. Cheeks. Smoking, I mean. <laughs> Big flank dog. This building's clear. One more building to search. The one in the very start. Damn it, that's probably the one he's in. Run, Mason. The numbers. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Wait, so Frank Woods is just kicking back, sniping? I can't believe he's in the first building I searched. No way. Head out the back. Damn it! I shot my own snow driver or snow shed. No, god damn it's not drivable. Okay, wait, this one's way faster. The other one was just broken. With the snowmobile? Nice. Eat shit. Dead. Don't move the door and stay here. Reaching. Already dead, just let it go. Dead already. Gotta kill confirm. Need a photo now. Kill confirmed. We got the pick to prove it. Maybe next time we can draw pictures for them too. Nice yeah. work. Even chopper inbound. Woods. Huh? Maybe next time we can draw a picture. Call for Xville. Throw smoke anywhere you want to mark a location for Xville helicopter to land. I think here's a pretty goddamn good spot. Smoke Already out. sniping me. Chopper's just a few minutes out. Get up, the G's. Mason, we have air support on standby. Call it in if you need it. We need expo, god damn it. Oh shit. Hang on, I'm almost there. I would have called in that air support. Send it in. Roger that. Oh shit. Definitely 
need that air support. I didn't know it was a straight up. Seconds left. Let's get the hell out of here. Bingo Bongo. Let's see if we completed Operation Red Clown Fest. Nice work down there, mate. I think Percy is gonna cry like a fucking baby when he hears me ice road next to him. I hate babies. He's all still shooting. There, Operation Red Circus. Do we do it? Complete Operation Red Circus? Wait, does that mean that we solved it, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the evidence boy. Yeah. Correct, correctly identify all three Operation Red Circus spies. We fucking solved the fucking case. Down to Vermont, down to Washington. To take back the White House. I just wanted to show how dope Call of Duty is is like it's the campaigns really are moving forward. The multiplayer is it's a goddamn circus among itself. It's still fun, but it's a goddamn crazy. Warzone is a goddamn crazy campaigns. I know the campaigns don't get that much love at all. Black Ops really deserve it. You know, they said that they were going to be working on a Call of Duty movie. It would be a Black Ops movie. You know what I mean? Like, it would have to be, you know? I've beaten this game, but it was when it released. So I don't really know what all you really get out of that. I know there is multiple endings to Cold War, to this Black Ops game, to Black Ops Cold War. But I don't know what it does yet. I just wanted to show you guys how we could we solve little clues and little bitty baby puzzles and shit. Like, you know what I mean? So it's dope. And they've already said that this is going to be coming into Black Ops 6. They've already said that there's going to be an open, not open world like MW3 campaign, because that was just Warzone with challenges as campaign missions. Hopefully more of this. There's also another mission in here where you go infiltrate the KGB it has one primary mission, but you can do it like five different ways. It reminds me of like a prey or like a like one of those immersive Sims where like there's all different types of ways to tackle this one mission. You can poison the guy. You can hack the system. You can you can confront him face to it's crazy. It's so dope. Call of Duty's dope. Black Ops 6. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. The numbers, Mason, don't worry about the numbers. Don't look at them. I'm not brainwashed. You are. Numbers! It's a broadcast, Mason. It's a broadcast. Hey! The numbers!